slowly. And that's partly because of, or I should say mostly because I live here. And I have these people helping me. And I would love for that to continue. I would love to be able to thrive in the world and become a contributing citizen. <laughs> I know that sounds cheesy, but it's true. And I feel like if I keep living here, keep learning and doing things out in the world, I'll be able to do that. Most people um, that come to ASI come from a nursing home setting or even a hospital setting. And some come to ASI that have been living in a residential home that really, really wants the independence of living in a accessible apartment that they will have assistance as needed in a setting that typically is 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. My goal for them is to keep them out of the nursing home. When um, a resident is in a hospital or in a nursing home, they're on a program, and those programs are all designed according to how the hospital or the nursing home runs. Our care is person-centered care, meaning that each person is individual, and therefore their cares are individual. When they come to a accessible space, the residents have choices. They decide how they want to live their day each and every day. They tell us how and when they want things. And giving them that ability to have a freedom of making their own decisions is so very important to each and every one of our residents. We're back. If it wasn't for ASI, I know where I'd be, right where I was before I moved to Minneapolis. And that was in a nursing home here in Rochester. Until ASI was open and then I was moved in there in the Chicago house. And it made a difference. I finally had a home. I was active duty Navy. It was a perfect storm. I fell asleep. I went straight, hit a big dirt embankment, and broke my neck. Uh, from that point, I was a C5 quadriplegic. Went from there to the VA hospital to rehab, and they hooked me up with Kurt Center. That's where I found accessible space. You know, after I found and worked with ASI and been with this location, I think I've found my home. Tuesday, Wednesday, every Tuesday, Wednesday, I go to work from 9.30, 9.30 till, till like 2.45 or 3 o'clock. I go to work at Best Buy. Uh, it's really a rewarding to help people out in the community, and I think it's very important to get involved. If people stay in, stay in the apartment all day long, they tend to be they tend to be more sick, you know, they get the immune system. I was born two and a half my feet mature and I have cerebral palsy. I can live independently and don't need a babysitter with you like all day long and you get to pull the cord when you need help. I like to work out a couple of times a week at the fitness center and I love, the po I love to play power soccer. Wall climbing to in the fall. I may have limitations but I don't let, I don't let, let it limit my life. Um, most of our residents are immigrants or refugees. Um, many lived with their children or other family members before finding housing. Um, many have moved from place to place and they have often said that they felt displaced before um, finally coming to Arlington and finding a home. I have spastic cerebral palsy. I was born with it and I suddenly got this random call said we have an apartment available. And oh boy, did that make my day. I was just so happy and overwhelmed almost because I had forgotten that I was actually on the list. I was on the waiting list for two years to get into this place. You know, it took me a while to realize 
Oh, I don't need to ask for permission. I don't need to worry about how I'm going to be taken care of. I, I don't need to plan around when people can help me. I can just go. Um, that's what I do. I just started a, a new semester at North Hennepin Community College. And I'm also taking a policy making class and basically learn how to advocate for ourselves, which is what I would ultimately like to do on a professional level. I think I found my home. And it made a difference. I finally had a home. Well, I lived with my mother and I've had intermittent PCA care and I've had surgeries and I've lived in a nursing home and after all that, I'm finally home.